Welcome to our lecture online. We're now ready to find the linear regression of a set of data. In other words, to find the best fit line that matches the given set of data. So let's say we have these five data points. They each have an x and a y value. So 1, 1, 2, 3, 3, 6, 4, 8, and 5, 9. And we've graphed them on our graph right here. The idea is to find the equation of the line that is what we call the best fit line. In other words, the line that represents the sum of least squares, the vertical distances between the data points and the corresponding points on the line. When you square those distances and sum them all up, that should be a minimum. How to do that? We do it as follows. We're trying to find the equation of the line y equals mx plus b. In other words, we need to find the slope and we need to find the y-intercept. And we can do so by using this particular method. There's additional methods that we will touch upon, but let's do this one first. This method says that if we take these two equations and solve them simultaneously, you can solve for b and for m, for the y-intercept, and for the slope of that particular line. What are the coefficients we need to put in there? n represents the number of data points, the sum of all the x values, and the sum of all the y values. Again, the sum of all the x values, the sum of all the x values squared, and the sum of the product of the x and the y values. So let's find what those are, and then we go ahead and solve those equations. First, the number of data points. There's five data points. The number of the sum of all the x values, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, that's equal to 15. The sum of all the x values squared, well, I already worked that out over here. So we take x, each x value, we square it, we sum it all up, and we get 55. The sum of all the y values, 1 plus 3 plus 6, that's 10, 18, that's 27. And finally, the sum of the product of all the x and the y values, I've already done that over here, and you can see that's equal to 102. So now we go ahead and plug these coefficients into our two equations so we can solve them simultaneously. So our first equation becomes n times b, which is 5b, plus the sum of all the x's, which is 15m, equals the sum of all the y's, which is 27. The second equation, the sum of x times b, which is 15 times b, plus the sum of all x values squared, 55m, equals the sum of the product of x times y, which is 102. So now what means is we need to solve those two equations simultaneously. Now I notice that 5b is one-third of 15b. So if I multiply this equation by negative 3 and add it to the second equation, the b's would drop out. I would eliminate one of the two variables, and that way I can find m. So let's do that. We're going to multiply, and I'll use a different color. I'm going to multiply both sides, the left and the right side, by, th by negative 3. So negative 3 times, I'll put that in parentheses like that. So when we do that, our first equation becomes negative 15b, negative 45m is equal to negative 81. We add that to our second equation, so we get 15b plus 55m is equal to 102. If we then add those up, notice the b's drop out. Minus 45 plus 55, that's 10m, is equal to 102 minus 81. That would be, let's see, that's uh, 19, that's 21. Divide both sides by the numerical coefficient of m, and we get that m is equal to 2.1. So that allows us to find one of our two constants that we're looking for in the, in the, in the case that we're solving the two equations. We think of m as a variable, but essentially it's a constant in the equation we're looking for. So now that we have that, we can take our first equation and use that to solve for b. So now we take our first equation right here, and we write that 5b plus 15m, but instead of m, we're going to write 2.1 is equal to 27. So that is uh, 5b plus, what's 15 times 2? That's 30. What's 0.1 times that? That's 31.5. 31.5 equals 27, or 5b is equal to 27 minus 31.5. Uh, that would be minus 4.5, so 5b 
equals minus 4.5, divide both sides by the numerical coefficient, and we get b is equal to 0. Point, oh, not 0, negative 0. 0.9. Negative 0. 0.9 because it's minus 4.5 here. All right, so there's my second constant. So I'm looking for the correct equation. So what that means is we have y is equal to m, which is, make these arrows a little bit smaller, 2.1 times x minus 0 0.9, and that's the best fit line given that set of data. So that line best represents the relationship between x and y in a linear fashion. Linear fashion means by linear equation y equals mx plus b. So the equation for that line, best fit line, has the equation y is equal to 2.1x minus 0 0.9. Now notice that yes, it looks like it's crossing the y-axis at about minus 0 0.9, and the slope looks like it's a little bit more than 2 to 1 or 2.1 to 1. So that's how we find the best fit line. That's what's called linear regression. It's to find that line so we have a numerical way to express the relationship between the x and the y value. Now x could represent anything and y could represent anything, but it's a general way of doing it. And so now if I plug in any value for x, I will get out a particular value for y. And that was the purpose for doing this. Now this is method one. We'll show you some other methods, but we'll give you some more information about what all this means. And that is how it's done.